the Sierra Madre. Mm, beauty, isn't she? Is she the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushion's just for show. Sounds like you've done some blue-collar construction work in your life. Your ma must be proud. Still, get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstanding. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Good, good, then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. An ace in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. All right, all right, but you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with like you, cover. I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate, that is. Behind you. Your taste like copper. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. 
touched by radiation, and you choose to spend your time here. They used to know a ventriloquist was more skilled than you. At least he had the sense to know his own name without carving it into his chest. Mirrors tell me my name when needed, and I... family, as long as we got these bow ties on. So watch your mouth, you don't scare me. Didn't think much of our chances, now I'm thinking I was wrong. What's the next step? Tourists, you bet. They don't stay long, and they don't stay alive long. If they survive the cloud, the ghost people, the traps, then greed takes over, and they start sizing each other up for funeral suits. Sure, first they figure they can get out, escape, then they start thinking it over, start thinking about how they can have it all. They start weighing the odds, taking risks, and then taking each other out. Bomb collars are not. Although, it's odd. The bomb collars weren't linked before like they are now. Guess someone learned what the problem was. Dead. Either got killed by one of the villa's attractions, locals, or the beautiful weather. Can tell you right now, they didn't stick close to each other, and when they did, they let down their guard at the wrong moment. Some left signposts to others trying to help them out. Just led to them getting killed by someone a little more greedy than they were. Well, considering my life's on the line too, yeah, a few things. First off, keep everyone together. Keep checking behind you, make sure your partners are following. Don't let them wander. Also, don't go running crazy everywhere. Almost every inch of this town is lethal. So if you're not sure, take it real slow. And speaking of slow, don't go shouting or attracting attention, go quiet. The ghost people find you, it's over. Alive's a tricky word. The locals, the ghost people, not sure it applies to them. They're a little uncivilized. They don't talk much, as in at all. Tried talking to them, bribing them, leaving food, nothing. In the years since, they haven't changed their approach, but I sure have. They catch you, they drag you into the cloud, and you're not coming back out. After that, having your necktie go off would be mercy. My advice? Stay out of their way, they don't die easy. You shoot them, they get back up. You stab them, they get back up. That's why I have explosives all over this place. Unless you blow them up, chop them up, disintegrate them, the ghost people don't go down. Not enough bullets in the town to spend on them. So unless you're a real good shot, save one for yourself right before they catch you. Well, you seem like you know how to handle yourself. All right. Once, I fired a lucky shot, hit a gas tank one was holding, blew his arm off at the shoulder, and he didn't get back up after that. So if you're that good, 
Don't aim for the head, aim for their bombs. And if you can wait until his buddies are close by, even better. Friend, there's more mysteries in heaven and earth. Wait, no. If there is more between heaven and earth, oh, forget it. I'd sooner ask what makes me an undying son of a bitch than spend any thought as to why they crawl to life here. I'm counting myself lucky I still have my faculties. They sure don't. Then again, they may not have had the focus I do. Always had the Sierra Madre to keep my mind occupied. Most folks, they don't have the same drive, the same need. Not worth my time. Pretty much ghost people before the bomb, now ghost people after. Whatever we do, don't rile them up. Normally, there's only a few, maybe a pack. There's more out there, a lot more. If they find out someone's trespassing, it'd be shaking a hornet's nest. Don't want to think how many of them could fill these streets. It's your... Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. And of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but... Well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, and hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take a hardier survivalist than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. I'd shed a tear, but I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Didn't think much of our ch Lose the second stringer, and I'll make the time. If it isn't the clever... You... I'll make more progress on my... Didn't think much of our... Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. Speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. 
pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll set off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. Watch out if you see a prize lying around. The ghost people leave supplies as traps. Cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years, even without cars or factories. next.
Sure glad one of us knows what you're doing. What's next? Don't dive in for too long. Only so much I can do to help. Getting real tired of tourist season. No offense, but you guys are low on the bar.
Sierra Madre may wait, not me. Sierra Madre may wait, not me. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the blood. Getting real. Hey, there's a line of merchandise.
You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the blood. Getting real tired of tour this season. No offense, but you guys are lowering the bar. Watch for hologram security, not as nice as the lady at the fountain, trust me. up an emitter signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Crouching's hell on my knees. <laughs> 